Hi everyone. So now we'll talk about constants in PHP. And first of all, I'll let you know what are the constants. Difference between variable and constant. And there are two ways to define the constants in PHP. We'll discuss both of them. Them. Then we'll talk about some examples and some interview questions uh, about constants. All right. So let's move on to the first question. What are the constants? See, constants are bit similar to the variable. There you can store the value. Any kind of value you can store in a constant, same as the variable. But the difference in both of them is, in variable you can change that value. For example, you just created a variable with the name of data, and you assign its value ten. After that, you can change it with a twenty, thirty, hundred, fifty, A, B, C, X, Y, Z, anything. But in constant, once you declare any value, you cannot make uh, any change in that uh, constant. For example, if you declare a constant with the name of data and you you assign a ten value to it, then it always it always be a ten only. You cannot make is twenty, thirty, A, B, C, anything. You cannot change it. All right. So now let's see how we can declare a constant and we will verify like we are able to change its value or not. All right. So I'm just creating a uh, another file. Let's say constant dot php, and uh, I am just making a constant uh, like variable. We start it with the dollar. So constant will actually not start with the dollar. We have to define a keyword before that so that PHP can know this is a constant. So we have to just declare a keyword const. Then we will put it constant name. For example, data, and uh, then let's say I am putting there twenty. Fine, and we can echo it. Data and not dollar, just data, and it will work perfectly fine. Here you can see that, right? So some developers are actually uh, always define constant in the capital case. So if you want to use that, that's okay, that's fine. But actually, I will use only small case in this uh, video because uh, I'm much more comfortable with the small cases, right? Uh, and again, it's completely depend on you. You want to just make the constant in the capital case or in the lower case or in the both. It doesn't uh, matter. But thus, but just uh, for standard, some guys actually always use the capital case for constant. All right. So now, if you just uh, Reassign. Try to reassign some value to it. Let's say thirty. Then it will give you the error. Here you can see that, right? Unexpected token equal to. And again, if you we are there, we are assigning the value. And if you are trying to declare it again, then again you will find the error. Like constant is already defined, so you cannot make any change there. So similarly, if you want, so this is the one way to define the constant. There is the another way. There you can use the define function, this one, and in first parameter with the quotes, single or double quotes, just put the, the constant name and the value in a second parameter like this. And here we go, twenty. All right. After that, uh, if again if you want to just uh, override this value to the hundred or anything, then again you will get the same value. Even if you just declare a constant in a First way like this, and you want to change it in a second way. Still, you will get the uh, error there, right? And that that can be asked in an interview question. All right. And uh, in interview question, they can also ask like, what are the two ways to define the constants? And one more question could be asked like, uh, what is the difference between that this const keyword and define function while we are declaring the constant? That we will cover in the upcoming part because this is something related to the global scope and functions and all, and we have to cover the, all of the, those things in the playlist. So I will just make another video on the scope and uh, where we should use the const keyword and where we should use the define function for that. All right, makes sense. Okay, so we just uh, got to know the two ways. Now the next thing can that can be asked in a comment. Interview question: Can we use dollar with the uh, constant? The answer is no. We cannot use. Right? We will get the error. Second thing: We cannot start constant with any special character uh, like this or and or anything. That will again give you the error. Here you can see that in line number two, uh, and it cannot be start with the number also. 
again you will get the error right so if you want to start uh, want to create a constant it always be start with uh, alphabetic character as well as uh, underscore you can use underscore like this right so let me just use there and it should work fine perfect even uh, just uh, you can declare the constant with the single uh, underscore it will work perfectly fine even you can use the three or two uh, underscore that will be work like a constant even again you can note use the number at the beginning of the constant but in the middle or at the last you can use so if i just put there dollar dollar one then it will work fine all right so this is the way that how we can define the constants and how we where we can use the constant if you still have any confusion any doubt you can ask me in the comment box and please subscribe this channel like this video and share your feedback in the comment section this is my donation number uh this is my paytm donation number you can see that thank you guys thank you so much